Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to create new Next.js application. Then we're going to examine all the folders and how Next.js application is being bootstrapped. Go with Sloba. And before we install our application, we need to be aware of some system requirements. So Node.js needs to be at least 18.17 or later to install the Next.js 14 application. So if I go and open up my Visual Studio code, or you can open up your terminal, whatever you want. So here I'm just going to check what is my current Node.js version. So node dash dash version. And in this case, it's actually below the minimum version. So let me clear this and let's install uh, and let's see how we can update our node version. So I have installed the package called NVM, which is node version manager. And then we're going to uh, install the long term supported version. So dash dash LTS. So this installs long-term supported version. I'll just wait for a couple of seconds and I will get back once this uh, installs. And the package has been downloaded. Now if we go and check node version, we can see that we have updated our node version. So we are not good to go to install the Next.js application. To do so, we're gonna run the following command, npx create next app at latest to install the latest version of Next.js, which is 14 at the moment. And then we need to provide the name or our application. In this case, let it be tutorial, just like that. And hit enter. We first need to answer some of the questions. So press yes to proceed, okay? Then it's gonna ask us some set of questions. So would you like to use TypeScript? For this tutorial, I say no, ESLint, no. Would you like to use Tailwind? Yes. Source directory, let's set to no. App router, yes. And would you like to customize the default import alias? No. And now let's wait for a couple of seconds and I will be back once it's installed. And now installation has been successful. And as you can see in the desktop folder, I have created this new uh, tutorial folder of our application. So we'll just go file and open that folder. So this is on desktop and it's named tutorial here. And now let's see what we have in the folder structure and how our Next.js application is being bootstrapped. Okay, so let's start from the top. The first folder is the app folder. This is the most important folder because we're gonna spend the most time in this folder. Here we're gonna create our pages, our layouts, our routes, and all the good stuff. After the application folder or app folder, we have this node module folder. This is the folder where you store all the dependencies, all the libraries for your application. The next one is public folder. In the public folder, you put the static assets such as images, uh, it's very simple. The next one is git ignore. So here you provide all the files and folders that you want to ignore in your uh, git repository, like node modules, for example. You don't want to commit that. The next one is uh, JavaScript configuration file and the next configuration file. So these are just two uh, boilerplate uh, configuration files for compiling your application. The next two are package lock and package JSON. So these are the, the files, uh, configuration files that tell your application what to install and what to use. So for example, we have these dev dependencies, which helps a developer actually to develop the application. And then we have the build or production dependencies. Here we have the scripts that we have available in our application to run. And throughout this course, we're gonna use mostly dev uh, npm run dev to start up and spin up our server locally here. And then uh, at the end of our uh, tutorial, most likely we're gonna use the npm run build to build our production ready application and then deploy it. Since we're using obviously CSS, we have a post CSS configuration file. Also we have readme file. In this file, you should put all the instructions for developers on how to install and how to use your repository. And the last one, since we're using Tailwind, we have this Tailwind configuration file where you can add additional Tailwind plugins, extend their theme and uh, assign what files are being compiled here. And now as we understand all the files and the folders that are being bootstrapped in our application, let's start our server locally. So if you open up the package, again, we have this script, dev script that helps us to run our application locally. So let's run npm run dev and just hit enter. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. And as you can see, we're running Next.js 14.1.0 and this is ready in 2.9 seconds. That's awesome. So if you open up localhost 3000, we should get to our home page. It takes some time to load, but eventually we get our Next.js application. Beautiful. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for 
stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.